Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Maps. In this video lecture, we will be discussing electronic spectra of transition metal complex. So, the first topic is characteristics of spectra. Now, what is spectra? You know, transition metal complexes, many of them are colored, right? Why does that happen? The study of colors in a similar way, in a very layman's language, we discuss characteristics of spectra. Okay, when we look at a spectra of a transition metal complex, we can deduce many conclusions from that. Right? A spectra can be anything. It's a graph basically. And it might look anything like that. Anything, right? Just go through some spectra and you will come to know. Okay, so what are the various characteristics that we see in a spectra? So that we will see, the first one is position of spectra. Okay, what does the position of crest mean? Okay, you can see there is a peak here. Right? Any spectra won't be a perfect wave because it's not. Okay? So here we have certain peaks. Some peaks are lower. Some peaks are higher. So these give the energy. Okay? Information of the energy that is being absorbed. Okay? The next part is intensity. As you can see, the peak number one it is higher and the peak number two is a bit lower right so this is the intensity difference this is the peak number two and there is an intensity difference this is more intense okay this is less intense so we see that the absorption of energy takes place at the position of peak but how intense this is, okay, that is based on the type of electronic transition, okay, what kind of transition takes place. So, the second one is intensity. This is often measured in terms of E, molar absorption coefficient and this is different because of types of electronic transitions the next one is the shape of band as you can see this is a band okay the various shape that you can see this is a random curve that i've drawn but as you can see, there is this shoulder and then there is another shoulder, there is a peak. So what we see is the shape of the band. It gives the information about the electronic configuration. I hope I am clear. The next one is the breadth of the band. Breadth, okay. This is the breadth width or whatever you call that this shows the effect of ligand on a metal so this was characteristic of spectra the next topic we will be uh, discussing the selection rules okay so the intensity of a spectra say this is a spectra and there's this is the intensity the peak is higher okay this is based on the probability of of electronic transition whether this transition can take place or not so this we decide based on two rules that is spin selection rule and Laporte selection rule okay 
so when there is a high probability of transition that means the transition is highly likely the peak will be higher and when the transition probability is low the peak will be smaller agar zyada transition hone ki zyada sambhavna hogi to jo peak hoga jo intensity hoga wo high hoga aur agar wo transition hone ki sambhavna bahut kam hogi to wo jo peak hoga wo thoda low hoga intensity uski kam hogi to yahi discuss karne ke liye hamare paas do selection rule hai pehla kya hai spin selection rule iska simple sa funda kya hai delta s kya hona chahiye zero hona chahiye मतलब ट्रांजिशन के दौरान ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांजिशन द स्पिन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन मस्ट नॉट चेंज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इट जम्प्स फ्रॉम वन एनर्जी लेवल टू द नेक्स्ट एनर्जी लेवल ओके सो व्हाट हैपेंस डेल्टा एस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मींस देयर शुड बी नो चेंज इन स्पिन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन सो वेन डेल्टा एस इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो दिस ट्रांजिशन इज स्पिन फॉर this should not take place okay and when s delta s is equal to 0 this is spin allowed i hope i'm clear this rule is known also known as rule of spin multiplicity okay so what we see is transition of s to s is allowed d to d it to singlet is allowed doublet to doublet is allowed and triplet to triplet is allowed okay so i hope i'm clear the next one is leporte selection rule in this rule it says delta l the change in value of delta l when it is equal to plus or minus 1 then the transition can take place when this is equal to plus or minus 1 then it is known as leporte allowed and when delta l is not equal to plus or minus 1 it is leporte forbidden okay we'll be discussing this in detail so each electron has a finite value of its orbital angular momentum l okay what is l that is known as the orbital angular momentum so the change in value of orbital angular momentum should be increased or decreased by 1 unit okay and it has a definite symmetry so s to p transition c s to p transition s stands for l is equal to 0 and p is l is equal to 1 so the de change in value of l is 1 so s to p transition is allowed p to s is allowed okay the reverse one p to d is allowed d to p is allowed and similarly d to f and f to d is also allowed these are leporte allowed transitions so this is how these transitions take place now since we consider the orbital angular momentum also in terms of symmetry then g to u is allowed or u to g is allowed okay but g to g is not allowed now we'll discuss what is gerade and ungerade it is a german word i guess it means symmetrical okay so how do we see this 
see this is the s orbital okay when you go in any direction the symmetry remains the same all right so this is g okay now when you have p orbital see this is a positive low when this is a negative low when you go upwards you have a positive and when you go downwards you have a negative so this is not symmetrical this is u so when we discussed s to p the transition is g to u this is allowed okay so this is how we discuss the symmetrical terms in terms of laporte selection rule i hope it was very clear see you in the next lecture we will be discussing more about transition of metal complex thank you